All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the coordinate plane. It's gonna be a bit of a review, but some of it might be new, which is why we wanna talk about it. The rest of this unit is gonna deal with ordered pairs that are plotted in the coordinate plane. And we're gonna look at lines and how steep lines are, and just kind of get a basic introduction to linear equations. So let's talk about what the coordinate plane is. The coordinate plane is the intersection of two number lines. We've got the horizontal number line that we call the x-axis, and we've got the vertical number line that we call the y-axis. And those create a two-dimensional plane where we're able to plot points. So let's put that in our definition here. Let me get rid of that little red dot. It is the, interse the intersection of the horizontal and vertical number lines. Okay, so that thing to the right is the coordinate plane. Um, like we said earlier, the x-axis is the horizontal axis. So it's the one that goes from side to side. Oh. So I'm gonna put x-axis over here. And the y-axis is the vertical axis. I need to write smaller, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna put Y axis up here. Okay, so sometimes people do get these mixed up. The easiest way that I can think of to remember it is to think of like the Y has a tail, like it comes down and the Y axis goes up and down. Yeah, so that's how I think about it. Okay, so the origin is the point where the two axes intersect. So it's the point, cause it's actually a point on the coordinate plane and we'll name it in just a second. The point where the axes, so plural for axis is axes, so it looks like axes. Um, the point where the axes intersect. And because that's the origin, it's the beginning of everything, it, we call it zero comma zero. Okay, and so that is right here on the coordinate plane. All right, so now this next part might be new. We've got what are called quadrants and the word quad means four. So the coordinate plane is split up into four regions which we call quadrants. Um, and so let's put the definition and then we'll talk about what we are, what, what they are. So it's the four regions that the coordinate plane is split into or that separate, we'll say separate the coordinate plane. Okay, so this was developed a long time ago. So we talked about Hindu Arabic versus Roman numerals. Well, the coordinate plane is named using Roman numerals. So in the top right, we have quadrant one. And quadrant one, do you know what the signs of the coordinates are in quadrant one? So I go over to the right and then up, that would give me a positive comma a positive ordered pair. Now it goes counterclockwise. So to the left, we have quadrant two. And again, we use Roman numerals and the way we show quad, uh, two is like two capital I's. Now, what would the signs be of a point in quadrant two? I go to the left and then I go up. That's gonna give me a negative comma a positive. And for some reason that always looks to me like a, an owl is like blinking its eye. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, down to the right, we've got quadrant three to the left, I guess. And that's just three I's. And what would the coordinates be in that quadrant? I go to the left and I go down, that's gonna give me a negative comma, a negative. And that always makes me think of a sleeping owl because both of its eyes are closed. <laughs> Maybe the one in the top right is a dead owl because it looks like little, you know, they put little X's or stars when something's dead. <laughs> okay, and then to the right, the last one is quadrant four. 
And when we use Roman numerals to name a four, we use a capital I and a capital V because V means five and the one in front means subtract one, so it's four. And the coordinates for this, I go to the right and then down are positive comma negative. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to just talk a little bit about ordered pairs and those are all the ones that are in the coordinate plane. Um, so the X comes first and for the X, we always go side to side and this is the X coordinate. So it tells me how far left and right to go on the X axis. The Y coordinate tells me how far to go up and down on the Y axis. Okay, so we can use an ordered pair to like name any point. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to find the point that they give us on the coordinate plane, and then we're gonna give the ordered pair, and then we're gonna name what quadrant it's in. Okay, so the first one is point A. The ordered pair for point A, let me get a different color here. So remember we count side to side first. So I go to the right, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be four comma, and I go up one, two, three. So both of those are positive because moving to the right on the number line is positive and moving up is positive. Now, if I don't put parentheses around those two numbers, it's not a point on the coordinate plane. It's just two numbers with a comma between them. So you got to make sure that you include parentheses to show that that's a point on the coordinate plane. And that's like international, like universal mathematical language. Okay. Then it asks what quadrant it in, is in. So A is in quadrant one. So I'm just going to put Q1, quadrant one. Cool. Let's find point B. So point B is down here on the left. And I'm going to go to the left, one, two, three, four, five. So I get negative five. And I'm going to go down, one, two, three, four, five, six. So both of those are negative because I went left and then I went down. And that is in quadrant three. Okay, I'm writing way too big. So I'm going to have to like stagger where I write my answers because they're not going to fit. Um, I guess I could zoom in. Maybe I'll just, well, I can't because then you can't see everything. That's fine. I'll figure it out. Okay, C. Where's C at? Um, C over here. We over here on the right. Okay. So I'm going to go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So positive ten. I'm going to put it over here. Comma down. One, two, three, four. So ten, negative four. And that's in quadrant four. So I just stagger my things there. Cool. Um, notice when I count, I'm counting each line because the line is where the number is. Okay, let's find D. D, oh, is right here. So I don't go side to side at all, which means that my X coordinate is zero, but I go up, so my Y coordinate is gonna be positive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 10 comma seven. And this is an interesting question because we're not in a quadrant. So you don't wanna say between quadrant two and quadrant one, but what is D on? It's on the y-axis. Yeah. So we actually want to say y-axis. So some of your answers aren't going to be in a quadrant. They're going to be on an axis. Okay, let's find E. So E's over here. So I go to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I went left. So that's going to be negative nine. And I go up one, two, positive two. And I'm in quadrant two. Maybe your little graph looks better than mine because I can't fit all my numbers in. Okay, last one, let's find F. F is right here. And I went to the left one. So that's gonna be negative one, but I didn't go up or down at all. So my Y coordinate is zero. Okay, and another special situation, I'm not in a quadrant, I'm on the X axis. So that's gonna be my last answer. Okay, I'm sorry that that's off the chart. Off the charts, woo. Okay, so that's the whole lesson. We just kind of want to orient ourselves to the coordinate plane because we're going to reference it the rest of the unit and give you a chance to practice naming ordered pairs and then learning about quadrants. So your homework's pretty short. Um, and so you probably want to combine this with the next lesson. All right, keep up the good work and I will see you later. Bye.